Hello, mm -hmm. test pilot monkey. Coming toward into a uh, yeah final episode of Citadel today. Um, so we've done the majority of things we're uh, meant to do, and we've now just got to get a couple more crystals, and then we can destroy the starport. Sorry to spoil the ending, but uh, I kind of did that in the first video by reading out the actual plot that we were supposed to destroy the starport. Um, it would be a pretty bad plot for a game if that was our intention and we actually never ended up doing it, wouldn't it? But uh, then I'm probably saying that some, you know, games and films and books and things are bad because they didn't do what they said they were going to do. When there's probably like a twist ending or something that, uh, I don't know, I can't think of a particular uh, thing at the moment which that would apply to, but uh, I'm not extremely well read, uh, well, I've read books, I just haven't read loads and loads of books, that's all. And uh, I haven't watched loads and loads of films. I've seen, you know, a fair share, but I'm not a movie buff by uh, any stretch of the imagination. And I haven't played every single game ever either, so uh, I can't really compare things. Anyway, this is where we want to use the head thing. Of course, we could have just gone down the other ladder instead of resetting the screen, but it only takes a quick time to do so. But haha, -ha, here we go. And yeah, it's been caught in this really <coughs> green statue thing all the way through. And yes, these mummies aren't dangerous, so we come here and we get woohoo! Some. I don't know, it looks rather a nasty colour. Crystal. Um, we've kind of got stripes of cyan and pink. I'm not too hot on colour theory either, so I can't tell you exactly what uh, colour that's going after. But uh, I can tell you it's not in very nice colour. At least in the stripier version of the colour, it's not a very nice one. Maybe if it was a solid blend of those two colours, it would look a bit uh, more uh, nice. However, as it is, it's not all that nice. Um, I'll try and think of another word. But, uh, hey, I can't think of everything. So... Now that we're done with the pyramid, we are pretty much done with everything that's outside in the desert here. Outside of the uh, west side of the castle. Sit down. All you've got to do is basically traverse the landscape. And that will be it. Kill a few monks. Yes, yes, yes. The, the operative word here is kill, which you've done there very, very well done. I'm not quite sure what this uh, podium is supposed to actually look like, whether it's supposed to be some kind of abstract thing or whether it's supposed to actually be some kind of real physical object. Or whether the person who's making the game just puts them random numbers into their uh, map and saw, oh hey, that looks interesting, I'll keep that. Because you can understand that kind of thing as a guard tower and everything else is kind of a, a structure to it. Some of the other ones stand on things that look like bandstands, I suppose, and uh, <coughs> though uh, that, that, that one podium thing is a bit abstract. And what do you know it? This room again. But as I said, as I said, this is the uh, last episode, and this is the last time we'll have to go over the uh, the west area. And so, as you can probably deduce, we shan't have to be doing it again. Of course, uh, that's me just guessing, but I uh, think I'm fairly right in that assumption. Okay, so one crystal left to get, and uh, 
and I don't know where it is. It might surprise you by this uh, point that I'm uh, oblivious to what's happening during the videos here. But, uh, oh, hang on, I know. One thing we've been passing by a lot that we haven't picked up is the bucket. I did say uh, pretty early on, actually, that we were going to be going through another fireplace. So, well, from those two things, what do you reckon we're doing here? It's a bit of a brain bender. I'll give you some time to think about it. Still thinking? Good. Well, no, actually, if you're still thinking, it's probably a bad thing. You probably should have deduced it pretty quickly. However, if you are paying half a ten... Oh, yeah, well, that that's one thing that you've got to watch out for when you're transporting water. You might accidentally throw it onto another fire. I mean, it happens. But I suppose if you're accidentally, if you accidentally touch a fire and you catch on fire and you're ca carrying a bucket of water, it's probably the sensible thing to do to actually chuck the water over yourself and put yourself out. And, you know, I don't know. You could just hope that uh, your clothes burn out before you actually have any damage done to yourself, but uh, it's probably a better thing to do to actually throw a bucket of water on yourself when you can. <clears throat> so yes, we've already seen the demonstration of what will happen, so guess what's happening here? Bucket of water, fireplace. Bucket of water, fireplace. Fireplace, bucket of water. If you haven't figured it out by now, well, there is. So yes, we climb up here because there's no other way we would have got up here. And we flip the switch here. I say we flip it, not twiddle it backwards and forwards like a girl possessed. And yes, we've just dropped below 100 energy points now. So this is a good thing this is the last episode, because otherwise we would be in a lot of trouble. But as you may have noticed around, there is another um, energy uh, bottle. We just have to get to it. So we have to get up onto the roof. Now there's a couple of ways to get up onto the roof. I can't remember which one I took. One of them's a pretty dangerous way to get up on the roof. This way. This is the dangerous way to get on the roof. And hey, look, it looks like I'm actually doing the dangerous way to get on the roof. This is a tiny bit shorter, so it might be good in that respect. <clears throat> but yes, dodge that, good girl. And yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's a bit tricky that you have to <coughs> keep readjusting your position to hit the trampoline and then to hit the, uh, the hole, or not to hit the hole, or something or other. Anyhow, we flip the switch, which now activates this lift, which I don't think we've actually seen previously to this, but hey. And we go up on the roof here, and what do we do up here? We go through the sea. Yeah, we go through the sea. Um, at least into this little room here, and then we come out here, and, well, we get the energy capsule thing, which puts it right above the bottle. Um, which puts us back above 100, which is, at least for now, a good thing. And then <coughs> we proceed, because we have two crystals now, uh, the last two crystals, we now go back towards the temple. Our little girl jumping for joy because she's got all the crystals. Or just because I've seen the jump button. One or the other, I mean, it's, uh... It's not my place to, uh, deduce why she's doing it. I certainly don't want to explain her actions for her. Anyhow, 
Back to the beach. It doesn't really look much of a beach. It more, more, more looks grassy, doesn't it? Perhaps it's a kind of half grass, half beach thing. And you can see I'm taking an express route over the water here. And yes, that does uh, lose quite a uh, bit of uh, energy there. And I did forget to pay attention this time as well, so... Yeah. That monk has a rather weak podium, doesn't he? Just kind of like a box he stands on. So not all that interesting, really. This guy, well, look, he gets um, pillars and he gets a roof as well. So if it rains, he's okay. The other monk's kind of a bit peeved at that. That monk gets a roof and pillars. Why don't I get that? Anyhow, back into the temple, back to the little shrine thing. And now we can see our handy dandy handy work. Look at that. All of this is on the thing. So now we can use the starport. <gasps> Woo! And that scared the heck out of me when I was younger. I actually was afraid to do that. I had to get somebody else to do it for me because I thought, strangely enough, that I would teleport somewhere else if I used that teleporter. I was a strange kid. Little has changed. And yeah, this is a rather dangerous platforming segment. But now we're on the planet of Cordor, was it? I can't remember. But it's Marduk's planet. And uh, we can see we have the little uh, satellite dish which connects to the satellite dish on our planet and uh, beams all the uh, matter back and forth. Of course, uh, what we want to do is try and destroy the starport because, as it said, Mark is sending an army to send through it. So, yeah, that's the uh, cowardly way to escape there. It's a, a good tactic, really. And... Yeah, this, this room is very, very dangerous. Especially if you don't jump. See, there's a lot of pig heads just sitting around. These are possibly dead pig heads, you can see they're not moving. And, uh, yeah, and I'm not learning my lesson there at all. And I've got 38 health, 37 health. Fortunately, these are the last rooms that we have to go into. Because otherwise, I would be in very, very deep trouble. 25, 23, and uh, 21. And we open the door, and what do we see? It's the um, shrine with the jeweled figurine. And what's past it? There's Marduk's army. Preparing to go through the um, teleporter. And yes, you can't walk through them, obviously they'll hurt you. <coughs> so that's what we're stopping. We're grabbing the jeweled figurine to stop Marduk's army. Just... And don't run into the pig heads. It's a ha 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 pig headed thing to do. <sighs> At least I know they're bad puns, I suppose. Now this is me trying to figure out how to get through here without actually being injured, and then realising it's going to be actually fairly difficult to do so. And promptly giving up, but actually no, I actually uh, did a uh, good job there, I think. 15 health! Will I make it to the teleporter? And yeah, even a better special effect here. This scared the living <coughs> everything out of me. So 
there we go, the starport is destroyed. Well done. Round of applause. And uh, yes, at this point you can uh, walk around and get the other crowns. But since we've got the crowns, we actually finished the game. And... Incredible! You are now ruler of Citadel! I always wanted to be ruler of Citadel. But I didn't think that was the actual point of the thing. I thought the actual point of the whole thing was to stop Marduk from overtaking the thing and not becoming the ruler. Anyhow, we are ruler of Citadel and we are very happy about being ruler of Citadel. Thank you very much. This is Test Monkey. I shall see you next game.